Doc on the Run. We help injured runners run. So there is a way that you can tell yourself. You know, if you do your own self-diagnosis, if you really know how to push on each of these structures, you really know what to not push on at the same time so that you don't confuse things, you, know, you don't wanna push on two structures at once, and you push on them in the right place and you apply a little extra tension with the right technique, then it'll help you determine whether or not you actually have extensor tenosynovitis or maybe a, a stress fracture instead, or if it's um, arthritis or inflammation of the joint underneath the extensor tendon in the midfoot, like the met cuneiform joints or something like that. But you have to make sure that you just check that one individual structure. And the way doctors do it, it's really not that complicated. We wanna pretend like, oh, well, I mean, I spent 13 years in uh, school after high school with, between college and medical school and residency and all that. So I want you to believe that everything is just totally complicated and you have to be some kind of wizard to figure it out. But that's just not the way it is. It's actually pretty simple. If your story sounds like extensor tenosynovitis and then you look at it yourself or your doctor looks at it and you're able to push on all the structures individually in the right way, to determine that for sure it's just that one problem, well then you can make the diagnosis yourself. So it's not that complicated and it's not that difficult. Doc on the Run, we help injured runners run.